Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series with me. My name is Mihir from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview another, Can another Canadian uh, colleague of me, Steve Foran. How are you doing, Steve? Very good, here on the other side of the country, yes. Mihir enjoying the spring, so. Yeah, thank you for being here. So Steve is the founder of Gratitude at Work, a happiness company founded in 2006. He has worked with HR professionals uh, uh, across Canada and US, and also a lot of managers and CEO levels. Shifting corporate culture by helping teams bringing more uh, gratitude to work each day. And your dream still is one billion happier people. Have you reached to that dream? Or where are you? No, I have. I have not. I have not reached it. I still haven't figured out how we're actually going to reach it yet, my hair, but we're on our way. We're on our way. So my first question for you is, can you tell us more about your entrepreneurial experience, what you have learned, what obstacles and how you overcome them? Yeah, sure, sure thing. So I graduated as an electrical engineer in 1987, started working for a power company, an electric utility here in Nova Scotia, and knew for a fact that that's where I would retire. I just knew it. And um, that was 33 years ago. I had no idea the things that would be placed in my path as I, you know, grew in my career. Um, and, you know, so I, probably the biggest thing to me was just letting go of my preconceived ideas and notions of what a career was or what it meant. And, and the reason I probably believe that it was going to last forever there is because that's what I saw my dad do. Yes. That's what I saw all my friends' parents do. And it was primarily the dads that were the breadwinners in, in those days. Uh, but mom, mom did go back to work and, uh, you know, when the kids, when we all got older. But, you know, that mindset that I had was mm -hmm. because of what kind of formed around me. And so yeah. the thing that I just, I guess, became more open to were the other things that were happening in my career as I progressed along, right? Yeah, and um, it's, it's important to have a, a great positive mindset, right, as an entrepreneur? A, a great what mindset? Positive mindset. Oh my goodness. Like, the, and you know, the, the mindset of being positive, I've always been positive. Uh, but you know, the work that I started doing in gratitude 15 years ago, mm -hmm. it, you know, and it, there was leading to that cause I was still working full time, uh, as an employee prior to that, it really made a, a, just a quantum, you know, step in how I saw just not my life, but my work, my relationships, client, everything in interaction with it. And uh, I mean, I'd still get dragged down into the negative every now and then, but with gratitude, it's just able to pull you back up in that positive mindset. Because as an entrepreneur, as, as, as an employee, it doesn't matter where you work, you're going to get rejected. People mm -hmm. are going to say no. Your ideas are going to get no, we're mm -hmm. not going to do that. Or someone else gets like, and you need to be able to, you know, we need to be able to, to have, uh, you know, resilience to be able to deal with that properly. And having a positive mindset is, is huge on, on that journey. So, you know, it, it, you know, when you ask me one of those things, what are some things you learned along the way? It wasn't one of the things that initially came <laughs> to my mind, but it is so critical. Mm -hmm. It's so critical for success. Yeah. And especially nowadays with COVID-19, everyone, you know, a lot of people lost their job. A lot of people lost their, you know, speaking it. We were supposed to do this live here in Vancouver. Now we're doing virtually. So how, how are you adjusting to this, all this? Yeah, it, it's, um, you know, I, I'm not immune to it. Uh, you know, get, getting dragged into the negativity because, you know, our, our brains, our human brains are wired to keep us alive, to protect us, right? And this survive, this ancient part of your brain and my brain, it is hyper-focused on the negative. And when something negative happens, we just lock right into it, right? And it and what it does, you talk about the positive feeling, the, that positive emotion disappears when we allow that to capture us, right? It's okay, it doesn't mean we ignore it by being positive, but we don't let it capture, grab hold of us. Right. And, you know, some interesting work that I've learned, you know, that some brain scientists, what they tell us is, is that, you know, when you have a negative experience, it immediately goes to long term memory. 
And so that affects you for the rest of your life and how you behave, yeah. right? Yeah. For a positive experience to go to long-term memory, you need to hold it. You need to hold that thought, that experience in your mind for 15 seconds. Mm. And so think of all this stuff that's going on with COVID-19 and what's happening with people losing their jobs or on temporary layoff. And when, we revol when our mind just ruminates over all that, it puts us in a negative state. Yeah. I would argue now more than ever is when we need to be in that positive emotional state, yes. not to ignore the challenges of COVID-19 and everything else going on in the world, but to be able to effectively deal with them. Because when we're in that negative emotional state, it also shuts off the executive function in your brain. Mm -hmm. This is the thing that does critical thinking, mm -hmm. innovation, creativity, the things that you need to solve the problems that, and the, I say problems, the challenges, and to, to be able to effectively, I say deal with them, get through them, whatever the language is that you would want to use to get through them, having that positive mindset is critical to do that. So. I totally agree with you and thank you for sharing uh, your insight with us. And for the audience watching, my interviews is uh, usually I ask CF five questions, but I'll post them on, on the following day. So you can, it's like a journey with us. You can watch every day what we are discussing. And if you like any of the videos, please like and share, uh, subscribe to my channel and tune in tomorrow for other questions with Steve.